Yo, what is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. Hey, in this video we're going to be talking about the Memory of Felwinter artifact which is actually available this week for you to purchase with a token uh, there at Felwinter Peak. So I did manage to uh, go ahead and snag me one of those. It's actually something I've never played with before. I know it's been out for a while, it's been offered a couple of times, but uh, I've never uh, been interested enough in it. To really commit to buying it so i actually did that this week and i uh, have played several hours now with the memory of felwinster equipped i just wanted to give sort of my feedback on whether or not this is worth running uh, i will say just coming out of the gate i actually had a lot of fun using this and um you know i think the most common subclass for people to want to run memory of felwinster on is the night stalker and uh, I'm not going to go against the grain on that because that's absolutely the best subclass to run Memory of Felons are on, hands down, no doubt. There are others that you can, uh, you can get some good utility out of, but you're going to get the most bang for your buck here on the Night Stalker because of the strength and utility and versatility of the Wombo Combos. The neutral game on the Night Stalker is unparalleled. It is, it is uni pretty universally accepted to be the best uh, neutral game of all the subclasses in Destiny. And the super, the, uh, you know, the Night Stalker super, the Shadow Shot is just not, it's really just not that great. It has a lot of downsides and a couple of ups, uh, you know, of positives. So it's really not the best super in the game. Any seasoned Night Stalker will tell you that it is so inconsistent. Sometimes it won't even yield a kill when you do everything right. You know what I mean? So the question, the, basically, the question is: Is the trade-off worth it? Yes. Double wombo combos on a Night Stalker will. If you are good, if you are a seasoned Night Stalker, that will translate into more kills than two to three supers in a match, nine times out of ten. So, yes, it is worth using. Is it, Would I say that that's the best way to play Night Stalker? No, I'm not going to go that far. I, I think that the obviously the super does have some utility. It's great for saving. It's not just about getting kills. It's about saving kills as well. Uh, the Shadow Shot is really good for shutting down roaming supers uh, if it's placed correctly, <laughs> although even that isn't a given, but you can save your team a lot of damage and map, uh, giving up map control to a roaming super uh, with a well-placed tether. So uh, I'm not going to say it's the only way or the best way to play Night Stalker, but I'm going to say that it is, it is a fun way and it, it is a very effective way to play the Night Stalker is to run Memory of Felwinter. These double wombo combos. Uh, basically free you up to think about more than just getting kills with Wombo Combos. But you can also just lock down the map. You can do a lot of good map control and not necessarily worry about trying to get a kill with your Wombo, but more or less using your spike grenades and smokes just to zone places off to keep people from pursuing so that you can focus on people in a, you know, maybe making an approach from a different area for a short time. Really, really good for map control. Really, really good for zoning. And uh, you can, the thing is you just, you have to use the Wombos. I found myself uh, on a couple of games, I just kind of vegged out, kind of zoned out, and I wasn't thinking about them. And I had two Wombo combos cooled down for like a solid minute straight that I didn't throw on. I'm like, what am I doing? The whole point of this build is to chuck Wombos for days. So you definitely, definitely, definitely have to take advantage of the additional uh, melee and grenade charges. Absolutely. That's how you're going to stay effective uh, on on this build. So, um, just know that you will be annoying to play against. People may send you hate messages. I like to measure measure personal success in uh, hate in hate mail. <laughs> if you're getting hate mail, hey, you're doing it right. All right. <laughs> so you may get a little bit of hate mail because you're going to be a roly poly wombo throwing fool. But that's okay, that's kind of the point of this build. So what should you couple it with? I would say Bones of AO is probably, um, you know, I would say there's two two exotics you, you could use really effectively. Bones is probably one of the best. Well, that's one of the two I would recommend because the Bones free you up to do a lot of tricky stuff with uh, your Wombo placement. 
you can um, stay in the air longer so you can more accurately, or you can lead with the smoke, hit another jump, uh, then throw your grenade, whether it's a void wall or spike or vortex, whatever you're running. I think there's uh, value to all of them. I like to use void walls from time to time, not just the spikes uh, as well. But you can more accurately place your wombos, your mid-air directional changes. Uh, they're just a nice thing to add to the already stellar neutral game of the Night Stalker. Another thing I would say you could use really effectively is the Graviton forfeit. The Graviton helmet, it basically, right, it grants you Shade Step without having to select the node. So you could um, basically have Shade Step and your Keen Scout abilities uh, active simultaneously. And that Keen Scout ability, when you have double wombo combos, it's so freaking good to see through walls, to see where people are uh, that are taking damage and whatnot. Um, for, for you to actually, actually have that point on your HUD that says this is exactly where this guy is. <laughs> very, very, very good. Uh, it's a couple gravits and forfeit with this build as well. So I hope that's helpful. I would recommend that you use this. Alternatively, you could use this. I, I could see Voidwalker being effective with the double axions and uh, the melees that uh, are going to drain life for you, for you to surge. I think uh, Sun Singers with double burning sticky grenades and double Scorch Melee over shields plus a shotgun with Ophidian aspects would be pretty nasty as well. Maybe in a different meta where shotgun ammo was a little more prevalent. But anyways, I'm not going to promote that build though. <laughs> I never would. But thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay in the commentary, guys. I'll catch you in the Crucible.